everybody. I am here today to show you how to make this new recipe I just found out that includes square bars, chocolate coated almond spice flavor, and these are brownies. And they're the healthy kind of brownies, but they're so delicious. So the first step for the brownies is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you can either slice your sweet potatoes uh, the long way and bake them for 20 minutes or you can do what I'm doing which is cutting them up into pieces like this and boiling them until they're soft. After that, we're gonna put them, we're gonna make sure they're cool and then put them in the food processor with the dates and mix them up and go from there. So while we're waiting for the sweet potatoes to boil, I'm going to add all of our ingredients together. So here I have the coconut flour. It smells really good. And I'm using coconut flour instead of brown rice flour just because I like the taste better. And I have the cocoa powder. It smells so good. Lots of chocolate. Let's see, next we have the ground almond meal here. I just um, used pre-ground almond flour here. Um, you can also make your own. So I'll add that. And the spices right here. We've got cinnamon, cardamom, and ginger, and a little bit of salt. I'm going to use about half of the nuts and we'll add the other half on top of the brownies when we're done. And one teaspoon of vanilla and we're going to mix it up. Alright, we're going to set that aside until the sweet potatoes are boiled, cooled, and whipped up with the dates in our food processor. All right, I have my sweet potatoes ready to go. I'm going to blend them. Once they are blended pretty well, I'm gonna add in the dates and blend more. All right, it's blended perfectly. So I'm gonna add it to my big mixing bowl here. Oh, smells amazing. These are perfect fall treat and I will be going to a Tone It Up Seattle Halloween party, costume party tomorrow and this recipe is going to be perfect. Alright, I have my dry ingredients, I'm going to add it in. I'm just going to mix it with my fork. So the thing I love about square bars is that they are vegan, which may, which means that they are dairy free. And for me, I'm lactose intolerant and they are the most perfect dairy free bar that I've ever had. And it's really fun to make treats like this that I can incorporate that protein bar in something like this. And if you have never tried Square Bars, you should go to their website. Look at all the flavors. There's so many yummy flavors to try. You can get a box of all different kinds of flavors and try them all. If you do, you can use my coupon code. You can get 20% off if you use my Instagram name, Katrina underscore TIU. All right, I have a really thick batter here. It looks so good. I'm going to scoop out half of my batter and next I'm going to put half of my square bar pieces that I chopped up and they're already kind of melting because the house is really hot from the oven. And it's been a chilly day today in Seattle so we have the fireplace on too. So they're gonna be like a little surprise in the middle of the brownie. Because what we're going to do is add the rest of the batter on top of these bars. 
And I always like to make sure that I get everything in the bowl. I don't want anything to go to waste. So I love my spatula to help me. Next, I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes or until uh, you can prick a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean and that means they're done. Alright, the brownies are done and they look really great. So you can use a knife or a toothpick and you just put it into the middle and make sure it comes out clean and it did so it is ready. So I'm going to let this cool and then I'm going to cut them up into pieces and they'll be ready to serve. So that's it for the brownies. Thanks for watching and comment below if there are any other videos or recipes that you'd like to see. Thanks. Bye.